Hey guys, Tanya here from Sarva Yoga. I have made a little tarot reading for Leos from February 16th to the 23rd. Uh, but what I wanted to say before is Valentine's Day is over. I hope you all had a good time. I still have the roses which I bought for myself and I like them a lot. And um, we are in Mercury retrograde. It's going from February 9th to March, March 15th. And in this time, it can happen that things are going a little wrong. For example, if the mailman is coming, he can deliver your package to your neighbor's door or something like this. But it's not really a time to be afraid of. I don't think it's a bad omen just because it's Mercury retrograde. So let's start with your reading. Um, so what I found is in your past, we have these two cards. We have the page of wands and, oh, I'm really sorry. I was already in the present. In your past, we have the four of pentacles and the five of swords. Now, um, the four of pentacles can mean the fear of loss. So, as it is in your past, it is not too bad. But maybe if you are like me, I'm also a Leo, and I was thinking about my personal fear of loss and my personal shadows a lot in the last days. So I was trying to confront my shadows and one of that shadows is the fear of loss. So it's very interesting that this card is coming out as my past <laughs> or our past. And also it means sometimes attachment to material possessions that we are having a hard time to let go of things. And um, it can also mean greed and in greed a certain loss of humanity. Um, the Five of Swords is more about talking about a battle which is concluded already. Um, so it might be that in your past there is a sort of defeat or the feeling of you wanting to have revenge on someone who defeated you. But this is coming to a conclusion. So this is your past and this is nothing negative to think about. In your present, we have the Page of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Now that is very positive because um the page of wands it can on the one hand talk about a secret admirer that comes to your door like on this card <laughs> um but also it can talk about enthusiasm starting a new artistic endeavor or taking on a new role in life and this fits quite well with the eight of pentacles because um, if we are having here starting a new artistic endeavor and in the clarifier we have eight of pentacles then this is talking about dedication to work and to pursue um, excellence through your craftsmanship and through what you are doing so you're learning by doing and you're taking your time for it and you love what you do so this guy is fully concentrated on what he's doing and I have the feeling he likes it and it's gonna be fruitful. So this is very good what I see in the present. In your challenge, we have the High Priestess and the Empress, which is funny because the Empress is coming up in your reading twice. I'll put it a little closer. Um, so the High Priestess is talking about um, revealing secrets and bringing something to knowledge that was hidden before but it's coming to someone at the perfect time when this person has earned the knowledge so it also means comprehension to a deeper level beneath the surface and your inner voice is going to guide you you can trust that the information you need is going to come to your mind or in any form to you at the right time so and the empress is giving prosperity nurturing care trust in life because it's bringing something good it's bringing something fruitful so if this is in your challenge then what I see is maybe that you might be a little um, 
impatient in waiting for that moment when is my fruitful time finally coming <laughs> and when do i finally get uh, the fruit of all my work so don't be afraid it's coming it's on the way so then we have the advice in the advice we have the hermit and we have the ace of cups so that is very beautiful because the hermit is reaching his wisdom uh, by going inwards, by meditating, by going into a retreat, maybe a spiritual retreat, by going into solitude and he doesn't let himself be influenced by any outside opinion. So this man is truly self-reliant, he searches for the, for the wisdom from within and he knows that in here and from his higher self he can attain all the information he needs to get along and to get to his goal. And then his goal is already here with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a gift, yeah? This is a full cup, an overflowing cup. So this is very beautiful for your advice cards. And now in the outcome, and the outcome is really nice. I like it a lot. I was very happy to see the Empress once again, just in another deck and the hanged man. So, what does that mean for your outcome? Um, the Empress, as we have heard, is standing for prosperity, for nurturing mother's care. Maybe your mother is helping you. I mean, this weekend I was sick and my mom was cooking me a chicken soup, so this is a typical Empress energy, right? Um, and also the hanged man is standing for a new perspective, altered states of consciousness, altered states of being, also taking on a new role, which we have seen in the cards before, and also having an open mind, yeah? So this is also talking about that your prosperity is coming when you have an open mind, when you go inward, meditate on things, let the wisdom come to you in the right moment. Don't press for it or push for it or anything just sit be calm let it come to you and sometimes information even comes from the outside you know you just see something it can be anything it can be some numbers it can be a flower it can be anything and it reminds you of something and it gives you a new idea it gives you a new pers perspective so just be open for it open your heart your mind your eyes <laughs> your third eye even <laughs> and then everything will fall into place so and then i also picked one card from the esther hicks tarot which is specialized on money and one animal card so in the cards specialized on money i got this so what do you think this symbol means it's talking about a solution has another vibration than a problem so do not focus on the problem focus on solutions and then you will find it so being too long with your mind on one problem will create an atmosphere that makes it harder for the solution to come in. So, I am a big overthinker. I know exactly what this card is telling me. <laughs> Don't overthink. Just do what you're doing in this moment. If you're cooking, you cook. If you're eating, you eat. If you're working, you work. And don't start in your head with, oh my God, I have this problem and this problem and ah, oh, this I also have to solve. <laughs> because it will bring you away from the present moment. It will take away energy from the present moment. And also it will not help you in finding a solution. Then the other card I've got is very beautiful. It's the Gecko Spirit. The Gecko always reminds me of my yoga teacher education because when I was in Bali, doing this education, there was al always the sound of a gecko while we were doing yoga or meditation and it was so cute. <laughs> I had never heard a gecko before in my life because I live in Europe, there are no geckos here. <laughs> so I was sitting in Indonesia in my meditation being like, hmm, what is this? <laughs> but now I know the gecko is obviously having his name from his call. <laughs> 
So yeah, what does the gecko tell us? He's talking about synchronicity, optimism, truth and mobility. So this is really good because it means you can know in your heart that whenever you commit to something, it will succeed. Yeah? The, the gecko is really saying if you commit to something and if you love what you do, it will succeed in the end. Uh, you will have your triumph. So trust in your inspiration, open your eyes, go inward and everything will sort itself out. This is a very good energy which I see here. You're typically going from the negativity in the past to everything positive and the filled up cup of happiness in the future. So I hope you had fun with the reading and I see you again in my next reading because I do a weekly one and hopefully you subscribe and like and comment and maybe even share. <laughs> Goodbye Leo!